Hi, my name is Meryl Khan, and I'm studying to be an EFT practitioner. And I told you guys I was going to take a live event, and I'm off. What do you think I'm going to? I'm going to a wedding of a really good friend and his dear wife. I can't name names. And uh, so I'm going to do some EFT. There's going to be a lot of new people there. So I'm going to do starting on the karate chop, even though you see my breathing is even shallow. So, and deep breaths, I'll take pauses. Even though I feel anxiety, fearful, a sense of maybe my sorry will fall off. Um, but I got a lot of pins, so that's good. Even though I have negative thoughts running through my head, uh, negative internal scripts, uh, negative inner talk, I love, accept, and forgive myself. Even though I have some anxiety and a little bit of fear, when it sometimes I'm not very good at names, but I, even though I'm not very good at names, I love, accept myself love and accept myself. This fear, this anxiety about being in a social social situation, wearing gold, wearing a sari for, for really almost a year and looking, I'd say I'd, I can rock a sari out. I'd rather wear a sari any day than jeans and a shirt. So I release and let this fear and anxiety go. I'm very good with names, like recognize people. I'm very good, and I feel very confident, comfortable, and at ease. I'm safe and grounded. I feel peace and tranquility. I release all remaining fear that I'm harboring in one of my seven chakras, and I release and let it go out into the universe. I don't need it anymore. Okay, so I'm still at about a three, as you can tell. Not as, I mean, I'm kind of faking it, and I really want to go and have fun. So that's, I release and let this go, this fear, any remaining fear and anxiety or negative thinking that is contributing to any bothersome uh, feelings, I release and let go. I release and let go all resentments about the past, all futures about the world, uh, all worries about the future, uh, about, really, it's wearing a sari for the first time. Not the first time, but in a long time. And um, I just have, it's out of my comfort zone, and anytime I like to be comfortable, I don't like to be out of my comfort zone, but when I actually go and do it, like when Shazi and I got together and we sat down and we wrote our book, The Intentional Smile, the love, the feelings of empowerment, the feelings of creativity, the feelings that I have a gift. God gave me a gift to not only be a healer, but to be a writer, a mother, um, possibly a good cook in the future. You know, the list goes on and on. I'm not just one person. I'm a best friend. I'm a lover. I'm a lover. I love people. And I love, accept, and forgive myself just the way I am. You know, I'm going to make mistakes. We all make mistakes, and that's the only way to learn. And we always look back on those mistakes. And <laughs> hopefully you can really laugh your, you know what, off. So with that I leave you and if you have any other videos, um, I think social anxiety is a real good one and we've all felt it. And I'm in a, you know, different country, third world country. I think you can guess I'm from America. So we're working on, you know, exploration, a sense of being 
you know, enjoying the journey. It's not the destination, it's the journey. And I need to start enjoying every moment of life and squeeze it for all it's got. I love you all and peace be with you.